The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. We're here with Rick Myron. He's got an 89 Camaro. Tell us a little bit about your car. And we're also at one of the first car shows in the spring here, the Collector Car Club of Regina, and we're at SIAS, and it's the end of May. What a great day. So, Rick, tell us a little bit about your car. You know, and it's a great thing to be out here. Yeah. We sure didn't think we were going to get this nice of an afternoon to be able to have stuff. So no, it's know, absolutely fantastic. Was call it, calling yeah. for yeah. rain, and it did rain. Yeah, and exactly. <clears throat> and we're here. Yeah. And my little car, well, I've had it for about 15 years. Oh, really? Yeah. It's uh, kind of been sitting around with me for quite a while. It's uh, Camaro RS. It's I an see. RS. It's. Uh, what does RS stand for? It's a quiz. Never mind. Well, <laughs> really sporty. Really how's, sporty. How's that sound? <laughs> you know, I, I look at some of these uh, Gra GTO, Gran Turismo, and yeah. this and that. The yeah. Other thing, you well, know all the, things. the rally. Somebody will phone in or write in and tell us what RS stands. Well, the R the Rally Sport. It stands for uh, Rally Sport. Oh, okay. There okay. We go. So there is the RS, the Z28, and everything like that. We're out. Uh, this one is uh, a basic stock style RS. It only has a six cylinder in it. Oh, so really? with the price of gas, You're good it hasn't good. been too bad the last month. I like right? the patina on it. Is this the original paint? This is the, the uh, I believe the original paint. Wow. Uh, so the clear coat has started to go a little bit, yeah, it, but, but it gives you that patina yeah. that it looks kind of different. Um, I've had it now 15 years. I think I've only put maybe 15,000 kilometers on it. Oh, gee. Right, so it doesn't get driven that much. Uh, Where just, did you find your RS? Uh, <laughs> uh, I actually bought it at an auction. Oh, did you yeah. really? Okay. Yeah, I did. Uh, quite a few years ago, I went to an auction, and, and my wife gave me permission to go, and I bought three. You bought? So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this, this one was in the package of the three. One of them had to be for her, though. Oh, okay. okay. So what, she did got, she, what did she get? Oh, she ended up with a Jimmy. Oh, at that nice, time, so nice, it, nice, it worked yeah. out pretty good for for that, and it, it's a, just a great little fun car to drive. So, what have you got on there for wheels? What did you do with those wheels? Are the, well, those, those aren't the factory wheels, no, of I course. So, when I bought it, I had the factory ones on. Yes. And the factory ones had a little lower profile. Okay. So, I was bottoming out all the time. Oh. Okay. So I put a 17-inch wheel onto it. Those are uh, American... Uh, American racing wheels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice and, aluminum. Yeah. And it's it actually... It runs really good. The don't get, I don't have to worry about rubbing on fenders because they're not super wide. And it works quite well. Yeah, it takes it in there, that nice and that wheel well. Yeah. they're nice smooth rims. Yeah. Not that difficult for cleaning. I know. I was just looking at yeah. it. They're, yeah. they're simple, but they're yeah. beautiful. They're, they're really easy to keep clean. And it works out just great. With this RS, do you know what the color red is? Did you ever find out what that is? No. It's you know what? It's red. <laughs> it's let's red. Crack her open. Let's see what it looks well, like inside. So it's oh, all it's go. all original. Yeah. Uh, Good sturdy interior. Very practical. Yeah. A little sporty. Yeah, yeah it nice. is. Yeah. Uh, it's got an aftermarket uh, stereo in it. Okay. But uh, many car guys don't drive with a stereo. 
Yeah. Right? You got to listen to your car. Yeah. So for me, because it's the six owner, I turn the stereo up louder. Oh. So Let's I don't have, have a look at that six. So cylinder. I don't have to hear it. Let's see that six cylinder. Oh, there it is. Gee. Yeah. So it's That's got, a, is that a slant six no, or is it's a V6. it? V6. A V6. Yeah, that's what it is. 2.8. So okay. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Uh, Fuel injected. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuel injected. It's it's economical. Runs really good. So it starts good for you. Starts good, yep. Don't you have to deal job. with carburetors and no, all that stuff. No, and uh, you're out cruising around. Like you say, it runs really good. Fuel economy now with the price of gas. Yeah, that's right. To change it over might be a mistake because then it's no, going to be. It's uh, actually kind of a rare bird to have yeah. that, actually. Yeah, Camaro. so. Well, so this would have been the working class guy's uh, exactly. nice Camaro. He doesn't have to spend a lot of money. Exactly. And this is 89. So yeah. we're still recovering from oil and gas. Yeah, exactly. So that's yeah. not high horsepower, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's about 190. Well, that's uh, not bad, so you that's know. not bad. For a six? Yeah. I had an 89 Corvette, and all it put out was 248. So. Well, yeah. Right, so they like were, I they think. They were really uh, bringing them down. And yeah, in '81, I've my Firebird only has 210, 215. Oh, in '81. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, okay. good, good. Uh, but okay, it's just. Any other favorite stories with this car? Not much with this one because I haven't driven very much. The other, the other couple that I have have got all the history and. So this, you you bought three cars at the auction. You bought this. You bought a, a blazer, Jimmy. A Jimmy. A Jimmy, and I bought a Blazer. And a Blazer. Oh. Yeah. No, pardon I, me. A Jimmy. The Camaro and an Explorer. And ex oh, right. Okay. So because I had two kids, <laughs> so I had to buy somebody else something else as well too. So oh, you're a good uh, father then, huh? Try to be. That's yeah. all we can do. That's all we can. That's do. all we can do is try. Well, so. th thanks for joining us on Cruising on Seven. Yeah, and thanks for coming out. So we're here with Matthew Wesley, and he's got a 1984 Lincoln. Is this a town car? Or? Yeah, it's a town car. It sure it, is. Yeah, Super I love that. Series. Those wheels, do they call those the turbine wheels? Yes, sure they do. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. That's yeah. what I thought. So where did you find your Lincoln town car? Uh, actually, an old man in town gave it to me. Old man, you better be careful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it sat on, uh, it sat on a side street for about six years because somebody really? into it. Yeah. Re oh, okay. I'm working on getting the fender painted a little better right now. Yeah, yeah, well, this is a classic. So you kind of eyed it for a long time. Right? Yeah, and uh, another gentleman hooked me up with the guy that was getting rid of it, and I went there to get it, and uh, he didn't want to see it get derbied, and he said, just fix it up and get it out of here, and it's yours, and I was like, pardon me. So uh, he gave it to you? Yeah, he gave it to me. It's got 163,000 K on it. And uh, oh, they were going to derby this car? No, people that were coming there to buy it were going to derby it, and the guy didn't want to see that happen to it, so. So in the town car, there's different models and things. Do you know much about this year? Yeah, it's a signature series. It's got everything but leather and sunroof. It's fully loaded. It's got power vent windows. It's got a thermometer. It's got a thermometer on the mirror right here. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at who's who's riding with you here. Who's this? That's what? my dog, Coda. Hey, Coda, how you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah, good guy. So where does Coda, where does Coda ride on the other side all the time? He rides wherever. If the kids are there, he lays on the floor sometimes because it's big enough. Oh, you got some you got there. some riders with you. Who yeah. are your kids with you here? These are my twins, Abel and Finn. Hey, guys. Say how you hi. doing? Hi. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're excited. <laughs> yeah, they're excited. All right. So they don't mind the dog sitting in front there? Right? No, no. He sits in the back in the middle or in the front. So it's a signature series here. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is the part I had to get repainted again. This, there was damage on the back. That's the old man let it sit for a long time on the side of the road. The senior citizen. Se senior, <laughs> senior citizen. Sorry, I shouldn't use that. Well, when I found the car, all four tires were flat, and the back tail light was smashed, and there was a dent on the fender. So I kind of. It's a rescue dog and a rescue car all you in know, one. Actually, what I'm amazed at, this Ford paint has really hung in there. Well, it's unbelievable, though. actually. Yeah, and the vinyl, too, because sometimes, you know, when they sit outside, tree sap, it's not so much the sun, it's the tree sap and all that jazz. It gets with... The inside of the doors aren't even starting to rust. It's Jeez. unbelievable, actually. I've had a lot of full-size cars. This is like a I got to vacuum it out again, but it's, it's, been a, it's been a driver this spring and summer so far, so... Oh, man. But, I mean, it's got everything. It's unbelievable. And you know that upholstery, that velour. Whoopsie. Better hang on That's to it. That's okay. It's got a fuel-injected 302 on it. Fuel-injected, so you'd have to it's, deal with a carburetor. It's unbelievable. Like, it gets the same gas mileage as my 2017 Ford Explorer. It's really good, actually. 
I'm not even joking. You know, it's not like yeah, I had a few old big cars like this, and the engine would be like, woof. Yeah, I know. So I that's why you're getting the mileage. And you're getting it. Does it perform? Can it drag it around pretty good? It does drag it around pretty good for uh, what it is. Yeah. yeah I mean, I've yeah. had a lot of, I had a 76 Grand Marquis wagon, and I've had LTDs and stuff with the 460. So you're a Ford guy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what it's all about. That. So yeah, the 460 had a few of those. They, they, they like to. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like, this one is, like, definitely, like, only a third as bad as those ones with oh, the so 460. So it's sipping on it. Sipping oh, on it the does. Guess. It just sips on it. It's unbelievable. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Well, you got yourself a real limo here. Yeah, I love uh, it. So do the kids. And you kids. know what? It, it, and they're pretty darn reliable back in those eight, 80s and it stuff. It really is. It really they're is. Pretty, pretty bulletproof. I love yeah. the signals, too, how the Lincoln emblem floats in there. Oh, does it? Yeah, you what see you that? Mean? Oh, look at that. <laughs> This is when they were really Lincolns. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, man. I don't know why the cars got so bad, but this is a really, it's a dream to drive. Yeah, on that turbine It just wheels. floats. Oh, geez. And you got the dog, and you got the kids, you got the whole world, man. That's right. I brought my mom here from Ontario, Robin. This is oh. my mother here. Oh, Come say it? hi. Hey, mom. Yeah, this is my mom from Ontario. She came to visit, so I'm trying to take her out to some of Saskatchewan's car shows. Are you Are you enjoying driving in a Lincoln? What's your first name? Robin. Oh, Robin. Glad to meet you. Yes, I'm Bob. it's, it's an awesome car. car. It's yeah, an awesome car. Awesome car. Do you sit in the front or back? It's front. Oh, you're in the front. Okay. I get the dog gets kicked out. <laughs> the dog gets kicked out. <laughs> so we got Sheldon here, and he's got a Capri. What year is your Capri here? Uh, 1984. 1984. Tell us a little bit about the car. Where did you? I see. It's, is that a five liter in there? It's a five liter, five speed manual. Oh, my that's son, a lot of car. It is a lot of car. It's a fun car. My son actually gave it to me for Christmas this year. You're, usually it's the dad <laughs> yeah. gives, gives, the, yeah. gives the son a car. Yes. Uh, how did that happen? Where did he find this car? Uh, he, one of his friends in Yorkton, Saskatchewan had it. Really? So yes. it's a five-speed, did you say? Yeah, five-speed manual. Gee, and a five-liter engine in it. Yeah. Holy dynamo. And bucket seats, console, the whole bit. Yeah. Let's crack open that engine. Let's look at that five-liter. Okay. So what did you say? Did you get it for Christmas or what? Yeah. Yeah. Did he drive it up in the driveway and then? No, it was it was sitting at the house, but. Oh, look at that! There it is, the five-liter Ford. Holy dynamite! Yeah. Well, that probably goes pretty good then. It goes really good, yes. My yeah. brother-in-law had a Capri. This was really. How many years did they make Capris? I'm trying to remember. I'm not even sure. And this maybe is at what? Eight, 84. 84. So I it's think a mid-80s car. Maybe 10 years, yeah. yeah. Mid-70s to the mid-80s. Mid-70s and mid-80s. Yeah. Just a beautiful car. Well, congratulations. You've got Thank a you. good son there. Yes. It? Actually, that's his car right there. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. What has he got there? That's a Hyundai? Genesis, yeah. Hyundai Genesis, yeah. Genesis, yeah. Genesis, yeah. Oh. 2016. Is he right there in the blue hoodie. So, Gavin, tell us a little bit about You bought a car, I was going to say, for the old man, but your dad. <laughs> So where did you find it? How did you find it? Uh, so my buddy had this Capri laying around and I had a 1995 Subaru WRX. I ended up just thinking like, I, do I really want to keep this car? Like I just bought a brand new car a year ago. And yeah, I you got the Genesis here, it. right? Yeah. yeah. So I just, I couldn't justify having two old cars you to can. myself. A lot of guys can. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to save a bit of money. So I'm like, well, you know, I was looking at this car and I know my dad, like I gave my dad the Subaru for a little bit to drive and he really loved it, but oh. I knew he would re he used to have like an Oldsmobile, so I feared he'd really appreciate something a little bit older more than I would, so I was like, well, I'll just give him this for Christmas as a nice oh, Christmas gift. Oh man, so. sweetheart. So what did you trade, a WRX, did you say? Yeah, a right-hand drive 1995 Subaru WRX. Okay, Subaru yeah. WRX, oh gee, that's a car that goes a little bit too, huh? smoking. This oh yeah. Yeah, oh geez. So how did you, Was you found it in Yorkton, did you? Yeah, in Yorkton, just from a buddy. Okay, and he had it, where did he get it from? Where, do you know what the history of it is a little bit? Well, he got it from a guy in, Malvel, I believe, one of the Hain boys fixed it up, put a manual transmission in it, because this used to be an automatic. Oh, it swapped out, okay. Yeah. Just and that then, actually um, looks good in the console. You, I couldn't, I didn't look at it real close, oh, but yeah. it's a nice job there. It though. was done pretty good. They did a good job on it, and I guess he owns a lot of these cars. He just goes through them, so he sold it to my buddy a few years back, and then my buddy just uh, wanted to Subaru a little bit more. Gee, so nice car. And what are those wheels that are on there? Did that come with it, too? Yep, those came with it. Oh, those are pretty good actually nice solid uh, aluminum mags yeah yep. beautiful yep. well you're a lucky man you <laughs> yes, looked after you <laughs> yeah yeah it's pretty nice uh, well congratulations yeah. guys uh, yeah thank you merry christmas <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we're here with tate tanon and he's got a 1972 plymouth duster tell us a little bit about your car 
Uh, it's pretty much all factory, all original. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Uh, Even the deckling up top. Uh, there? Deckling up there is all original. Uh, really? num numbers matching, engine, transmission. Whoa. Uh, interior, it's all all pretty original. So where did you find this car? Uh, just a little north of Saskatoon. Really? Are yeah. you were you a Mopar guy? Was yeah. This, this is Dad and I's car, so. Oh, your it's dad's got, car? Yeah, it's is both your of ours. here? Yeah, he's just back here. Oh, he's back here hiding yeah. out somewhere. Yeah, right talking to someone, so. Yeah, no yeah. problem. So you found it north of Saskatoon. What was yeah. it like when you found it? Uh, just found it on Kijiji, and okay, we'll go take the three-hour drive and look at it, and okay. we, sh we showed up there, and it was like... Was it like this? Yeah, it was like this. It was just beautiful condition, and... Oh, oh, jeez. Yeah, it was just... So what, really nice. you've got your air cleaner off there. Yeah. You just want to show the carb. Is that what you're doing there? A little bit of... Yeah, we don't have the stud in the air cleaner yet. Oh. So okay. we don't have the nuts to put on, so it's just for See, show actually, right now. you don't find a car that's this complete that often, really. No, you can't. These are hard to find. You think it's the original shape. paint? Uh, it's not paint. This is wrapped. Oh, it's wrapped? Yeah, it's not painted. It's a wrap. Cool. Did you wrap it? No, nope, it was it? wrapped uh, about six years ago. Really? Yeah. So. That's interesting. You know, I'm looking at it. Can I open the door? Oh, go ahead. Okay, so yeah. the interior of the door, is, is it wrapped too? No, no, that is original paint. That's original uh, You'll notice paint. some of the original paint on the inside of the door and inside of the engine. So what do you think of the wrap thing? Uh, I've never had a wrap vehicle before. I've never known too much about it. Gee, they do a good job of it. But, but you've got to have the metal pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, you got to have it really nice underneath or it'll show everything. Yeah. So. Jeez, are those the original wheels that came along with it? Nope, these are aftermarket. The original wheels we still have. Uh, 14, oh, you do, huh? 14 inch wheels. Okay. But we went, went ahead and put the upgraded 15 inch newer. What are those wheels? What have you got there? Those are the Mopar Rally wheels. Okay, what year would they be current with? It? Uh, but that also came factory, it was the same wheel. Oh, the it same wheel. It was just wheel. 14 inch, this is okay. 15 now. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. so you're staying within the, the genre or whatever. Yeah, it was, trying right? to keep it all factory, original. Yeah. And oh, they did a little chrome on here though, I can see. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, the brake booster was done by the previous owner. Yeah. But. So you're just cruising through Kijiji or something? Yeah, like I was cruising through Kijiji. We've been looking at cars like old Roadrunners and yeah, yeah. All, old Dodges and Plymouths. And this one came along. Took Why a, look a at duster it for you? Just out of curiosity. Oh, you like the Roadrunner? The Coyote and the Beep Beep and the Roadrunner. And this is kind of like the cheaper. You still get the dust, like the still a duster kind of mm -hmm. thing. You still get the. You get the, the Mopar oomph and all yeah, that stuff. It's oomph. just a little smaller kind car. Of a smaller car, yeah. It's nice, though. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. Oh, 340, huh? Yeah. Did they do anything to the engine at all, or is it pretty uh, good? I think it was re-ringed sometime in the yeah. 90s, okay. but it, I don't think it's ever been rebuilt. Okay. And it's running good for you? It runs good, yeah. It's wow. original carb. We just uh, got redone last year. So where where are you from? Are you from Armory Regina? Uh, from right from Regina in town here, yep. Yeah. And you and your dad are doing this yeah. project here? Yeah, it was just our thing to do on the weekends and... Oh man, what yeah. a car, huh? You guys must be happy. What do you think you're putting out for horsepower here? Uh, factory, it came with 275 horse, so it'd be probably right around there. Right around there. Yeah. It's nice. Gee, that wrap job is just... Yeah, it did a pretty good job with it. And I, I love the feel so, of it. It's yeah. very smooth, huh? It's nice, and you don't have to worry about dings or chips, like paint. Yeah, yeah, You just yeah. kind of, you get a little, you get a mark, you just rub it off and... Oh, really? Yeah. Gee. So, I, oh yeah, that's cool. Well, thanks for showing us your car. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're here with Scott Bohatch, and he has a Duster 342, right? Uh, slant 6, 225. Oh, slant six. I didn't look at the engine. Oh, okay, so you got you got what I'd call the working man's car then. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, great. Where did you get your car? Uh, I picked it up in Yorkton. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Now, I've, you got a standard in it. Was that with it? Yes. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a factory four-speed slant 6 car. So the car came from the Yorkton area? It did, yes. Why a Duster for you? I've always liked dusters. Yeah. Hmm. Nice looking cars. Yeah. And the color is, it's not a wrap, it's original paint. Is it? uh, this is, well, it's not the original paint. The original paint is uh, kind of a
coppery brown. Oh, okay, okay. You uh, went for this. This looks like a Mopar color, though. It, it is. It's limelight green. I didn't paint the car. I bought it painted like this. But. Yeah, very nice. Do you got center lines on it? Are those yes, center lines? Yes, those are center lines. Oh, so you got a good economical driver, and yet you got a kind of muscle car feel kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's uh, the ultimate poser car. <laughs> the ultimate poser car. Well, it looks like it means business, and it's great. Well, thanks for sharing us with your car. Appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. So we're here with Ron Gad. He's got a 1968 Chrysler 300 ragtop. Wow, beautiful car. So tell us a little bit about your car. Where did you find it? Um, I knew about it 40 years ago when I couldn't afford it and wanted it, and a friend of mine bought it, and as he aged he decided that he was scared driving the garage anymore so he sold it to me really wow beautiful car like the wheels on that that, that that's not factory is it did it yep. come that way yep really? that, this one didn't because they'd been taken off but i just i just acquired a new set of oh did you that's you a proper looking for it, huh? that's a proper so wheel so what do they call yeah. that the mag magnum Magnum 500? Yeah, yep. yep. and they were used on... Is that a knockoff? That, that's just... It's a pretend knockoff. Yeah, okay. Those so. wheels were used on Ford Chrysler GM, a similar wheel with a common thing on Mustangs and Camaros okay. and Barracudas and so all that stuff. So where did this car spend most of its life? Um, been in Moose Jaw, I guess, for the last 40 years. I, before that, I'm not actually sure. Okay, so you knew about it in Moose Jaw and you kind of watched it? Yeah, I've been in, I've kind of been friends with the guy and saw it around for I guess 40 years about yeah yeah yeah. yeah. let's have a look at the interior that is that uh, white leather interior yeah. man alive that car is just beautiful this is when they really made car convertibles huh well it's big it definitely is a long ways from front to back I wonder how many how many feet long is it do you know I think it's about 19 and a half feet something like that 19 and a half feet well that, that's a bit of a i just a i just happened to pace it out the other night when it's in the garage <laughs> i think that's what it is <laughs> what have i got here uh, can i get in my garage yeah if you got a 22 foot garage you're just getting in there right? yeah well, the top is great is that the original top with yeah it? and it isn't that great it could stand a new top it's not bad but it it's looks pretty darn it's nice, getting actually. weathered a little yeah those rag tops are hard so this is a plastic or glass window Oh, gee. They had, they had cellulose windows set one time, but this is a glass window. That's a really good one, then. And then you got the, the whole wraparound leather when you put it down and everything. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, congratulations on your car. It's a lovely car, and uh, you could have, uh, you know, all kinds of things in parades and put politicians and beauty queens back there and everything. No politicians. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, we're here with David Didich. He's the president of the Collector Car Club of Regina, and he has added one more Chrysler to his family. They are growing. What are you, watering them and fertilizing them? They're multiplying. I don't know how I, <laughs> I come out in the springtime and there's another one there. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what's your latest one? Which is your latest? Well, the latest That's one, what it looks like, yeah. This latest one is the black one here. Um, I don't know the entire history of it. I know it came out of Prince Albert, and it's basically a survivor car. Yeah. Um, the body didn't look like that, of course, when I brought it home. It's, it's had some, some love and some care and uh, brought that body back to life. So. Oh, my God. Did you paint it or did nope, you just it just, it? just cleaned it up and polished it. Wow. Yeah. Well, they got good paint on those Chrysler. Yeah, they sure do. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So we got that one and we got this one. And that was your first one, wasn't it? That was the first one, yeah. That was the, that's the red 81. That's been um, retrofitted back to a carburetor. Okay. Um, they originally came with a fuel injection system like this one still has intact. Mm -hmm. um, so that one's got the, a proper retrofit carburetor system on it. This is the original um, EFI system that they came out with in 82. This is a Lee Iacocca move, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. It is, yes. He uh, developed, he came out of Ford in 79 and was going to put Chrysler back on the map. And he came up with this car, concept car for them. They launched it in 81 and damn near bankrupt um, Chrysler <laughs> because of it. Um, well, they came with a special cloth and everything. They had to be shipped in a certain way. Yeah, you know, they, like, and this this blue one is actually a Frank Sinatra edition. Oh, this is the Frank Sinatra. So this is one of 279 that Sinatra endorsed. Oh, my God. Um, I've still got some of the original cassette tapes with this car. Oh, um, my Eight God. of them are still in cellophane. Jeez. Um, it came with an umbrella and a leather carrying case. and. Good old Frankie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't have everything that the Sinatra cars came with, but... Yeah, um, I don't know. You got one. I, I got, I got one... Um, 
Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the car show season this year. What's cooking? What have we got? Well, going? we got uh, this show that you're the president of the Collector Car Club, so we want to hear all about that. Okay. So the Collector Car Club, uh, we're planning. We had this show, of course, today, which the rain is holding out so far, not as big as we hoped, but we got what we got. Uh, we got our next show coming up July 24th, which is actually uh, usually our cruise in China and will be again. However, the only difference is this year we are starting at Polytech, cruising to Lumsden, and we're coming back to Polytech for our show Okay. instead of Canadian Tire. We've kind of outgrown the venue over there, so we yeah, had 160 cars on site last year, and that was a little bit too much for their lot. Was it? Yeah. Okay. So you want to come here and do your yeah. things here. Well, that's good. Do you have a member that belongs to the SIAS here or some connection? Um, well, we uh, we partnered with um, Polytech in 2018. Uh, we developed a scholarship. Okay. We've got, uh, it started out with two $1,000 scholarships in 2018. Um, and then every year, depending on what we can fund, we're guaranteed we're going to fund them two scholarships, but sometimes we fund them more. Um, as of this summer, Collectors Car Club will have funded 12 students with $12,000 in scholarships. Oh, that's pretty good. Here yeah. comes one of your students right now. No. <laughs> Not today. Sorry. Not today. <laughs> yeah, he graduated a number of years back, though. Yeah. He's doing well, though. He's doing well. He is, yes. Well, thank you. That's great. So you guys are really helping out with uh, the young people getting into the automotive trade and your great partnership with SAS Polytech here. Yes. That's, that's yeah. good. It, it turned out really well. Like uh, when Polytech came on board and wanted to get involved, now they're in on the show because they're promoting the school as well. So yes, yes. Uh, they've got their people inside doing the recruitment end of it. So oh, that's good. it's kind of a win-win all for everybody. Well, they got some great cars here, and uh, you know, this is a win day because I thought it wasn't going to happen. I phoned, I said, oh, are they going to do that car show today? He said, yeah, they're, it's on, man, so we're here. Yeah. So new to this show this year, we got the Wawa Shriner Motor Patrol on site. I saw that. Uh, we got the mini cars, and then one of the uh, Ford Club members with his real 58 T-Bird pulled up, so we got him to park right beside the, the little T-Birds there at, uh, oh, with the Shriners. Yeah. So. Oh, so okay. there's well, maybe we'll get a little bit might be a good feature it. over there so yeah absolutely yeah well thanks for joining us on cruising on seven and have a great summer 2022 thank you hey we're here with mike keogan he's the president of the wawa shrine motor patrol boy that's a mouthful to say and i got it right and you have nothing but t-birds yes that's correct we have uh t-birds here today we run them in the parades throughout the summer and today it's just a static display to show the people what we have and you're the el presidente right i am the president of this of this unit and yes these are some of your loyal followers mr president they are they're all unit members and we're here today raising money to help children by selling our mini donuts oh there you go you got a little mini donut machine well i love those little t-birds we'll do a little background roll you're thinking you might come out to some other car shows and maybe we might uh, get a chance to talk to you a little bit more here yeah, I think we probably will. This is the first time we've come to a static car show, but we've enjoyed it. The support's been great, and I think we will come back. We want to see you fire it up here. So introduce some of it. We'll just look at some of, who are some of your gentlemen. These are all fellow nobles. Uh, we have Bill, we have Al, we have Dave, and we have John. And they've all got T-Birds? We have uh, nine T-Birds, and very, we rotate who runs them. Okay, very good. Well, thanks for joining us on Cruising on 7. Thank you very much. It's been our pleasure. Thank <laughs> you.